Hello filmmakers, welcome to 3D Printed Soup. This week I was going to print a pumpkin transformer, but that went as well as Liz Truss's prime ministerial career. So, this week, it's another pumpkin. That's right after this. Hello filmmakers and welcome back to 3D Printed Ween. Which sounds more like a mouse laid and less like an event, so we're going to stop calling it that. Welcome back to 3D Printed Soup's Halloween 3D Print Season. That sounds janky. Anywho, I tried to print a 3D printed transforming pumpkin for this week. That didn't go too well. This thing is an absolute disaster. No idea whether it's me or whether it is the uh, design itself. But either way, it wasn't coming out well. So I switched over to a cool looking skull 3D print of a pumpkin with a sort of a skull face to it, which looks quite awesome. My daughter looked at it and went, Daddy, print that. So who am I to argue? So I'm going to 3D print and make that. She's also going to help me paint it. So that's nice. I can't imagine a two year old painting a plastic pumpkin is going to be anything but messy, but we'll give that a try. If you remember last year, I made a 3D printed pumpkin with an LED bulb in it that particularly flashed as well. And if you want to compare the two, that's right up there as well. So thanks to everyone who's liked to subscribe, by the way. Loads of new guys coming in. Welcome to the 3D printed Halloween coven. Bring your own eye of newt. Now let's go on and print ourselves a really cool 3D printed jack-o'-lantern skull lantern thing. It's going to be cool. Let's give it a try. And this little guy's turned out really, really nicely. I like the way the top comes off so you can put a, a, a little uh, LED candle in there or you can attach an LED candle to the bottom and have it sitting on top there. And I quite like it on the little stand. So I'm going to have mine like that, I think. And yeah, this thing has turned out very, very nicely. No supports needed, just printed straight off the hotbed and say this is available on Thingiverse and 3D Colts and a few other places. So links in the description below. So let's have a look and see what this thing looks like in the dark. And yeah, he looks really, really cool. You know, he's got glowing eyes and his glowing, uh, glowing jaw here. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. I'm looking forward to leaving that in the window on Halloween. Thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got two more weeks of this. We've got one more print next week. And then I'm going to do a special print on the 31st to celebrate Halloween day slash night. So... Stay happy, stay safe, keep pumpkin. Rah.